Well, here we are again. It's not as muddy as it was last time I was here, but it's still pretty muddy. Good morning, everybody. Jen Carvasi from Jekyll Bates. I've got the morning off. I'm at one of my favorite watering holes. The thing about this particular area is even when the water is high as it is right now, and it is high, there's still a fairly decent percentage that I might catch a couple fish. I'll probably end up on this side over here, but I'm going to walk across and start on the point. I haven't fished the point for a while. They've done some work. All this railing, that's new. Folks, this is about 10 million gallons an hour. Or a minute. It might be a minute. I can't remember. It's a lot of water. Looks like we got some swans down on the water this morning. Let's go check that out. The water is probably a good deal warmer than the air is this morning, I would imagine. This creek in the spring stays about a constant 58 degrees right through here. Gets a little bit warmer as you go downstream. For those of you that are local to the area, make sure you check out the Mammoth Spring uh, State Park, the Visitor Center. There's a beautiful national wildlife fish hatchery back there behind it. There's a, uh, a little train hub and train memorabilia, an old antique historical station. Tracks still run behind here. You guys have seen those in plenty of the videos. This is a, a very cool natural spot. Definitely family friendly, without a doubt. And I tell you, I haven't put up a fishing video in a while, and I'm really hoping I don't blank out today. I have, uh, I'm starting to get my feelings hurt. I've skunked twice in a row. And, uh, I mean, it's just the time of year. It's going to be tough. But a lot of it is just taking the time to find the, the right pattern for what these fish want. Because they are in here. Even when the water's dirty and it's blown out, they still have to eat. Um, you just want a little bit brighter of a presentation or darker of a presentation to get that profile. And if they don't want a Senko or a worm, then you got to find out what they do want. So I'm going to toss one of these things out here in this current. This is always a particularly good spot because you can see that it's a little bit uh, deeper of a drop off here. It is going to float pretty quick. Um, so I need to be mindful of what all is here. Um, I just saw one thing rise up on it, but I don't know if that was a trout or if that was a small mouth or a large mouth. They are trying to move up in transition. But I have an idea with the current, I'll probably do a little bit of crank baiting, a little jigging, some jerk baits, just cover a little bit more water. It's quiet this morning. It's real quiet. Hmm. Well, I have two options. Three. Got three options. I can either walk across this and try and find some high spots across and get wet and muddy. I can try and pull that board out, but it's all jumbled together. It's full of nails. That would be a pain in the, in the butt. Or I could walk back to the Jeep, get my waders do it right. I've got my waders. I think we're going for the waders. Or, or the fourth option is I could just not fish this and go down to the spillway. But I do want to fish this. Let's get those waders on. Oh, come on now. There we go. I always feel like Gumby in this.
Cactus Wine, Whiskey River, 5 inch stick bait. Just pulled up to this spot, got my waders on. I'm glad I used my waders. fish. There we go. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's heartbreaking, y'all. That is heartbreaking. I lost it at the leader. Mm, y'all have no idea how devastating that was. I mean, seriously, folks. Oh, my gosh. What is going on here? What is this thing? I mean, seriously. What is it? Do I have it? Did it let go? Do I have it? Please stay on there. Please. Please stay on here. What are you? Right on. Oh, thank God. I was beginning to lose my damn mind. That's a decent smallmouth. That is a decent smallmouth. Real happy to be putting this one back in. There we go. They're right up on this structure. They're right here. No, nah, they're not right there. Didn't mean to hit the bridge. Just past it. That's what I wanted. Right there. They're using those pilings as an ambush point. There we go. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. My goodness. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay out of this. That is a good fish, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Might be the best of the day. Oh, yeah. A real good fish. Heck yeah, bud. Heck yeah. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> That is what we're looking for, kids. And get down here. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Wow. That might just be the biggest smallmouth I've caught out of the Spring River. Seriously. That is a beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. Come on, fish.
there's one. That's pulling hard too. Ooh. Oh, no, I still got him. I thought he shook it. I thought he shook it. Didn't shake it. No, no. Where are you? There we go. That's a good fish too. Oh my gosh. That's a large mouth. That's a good large mouth, folks. All right. Oh, wow. Holy mackerel, folks. Y'all seeing this? Can you believe this? That's what lives here, folks. This five pounder, it lives here. And it lives here all the time. You are a beautiful girl. You are a very heavy fish. Off she goes. Thanks, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Personal best on the Spring River for sure. Holy mackerel. Fish on. It's a good one. I don't even have my hemostats out yet. You got yours? I might be able to get it out with that. Wow. Big girl. Thanks. Good fish on a jerk bait. First thing in the morning. All right, first of the day, first of the morning, and it's a dandy right here on the Spring River. Two heavy pounds, probably two plus. There she goes. <clears throat> of course, I have my camera turned off. <sighs> right on that second pillar. Huh? Right on that second pillar. That little guy. Fun fish. Beautiful red eye. Ah. Shadow bass. Pretty little fish. <laughs> 